Paper or plastic? Ten cents more, please. That could be the new reality at the checkout line, even if your island has already banned the use of plastic bags. KITV4's Catherine Cruz has tonight's new information about an unintended consequence of the bag ban. Catherine. Well, you know, the 10 cent fee can be seen as a money grab to protect our critical water resources. It may also be a big motivator to get consumers to change their habits to help the environment. I'm a little bit shocked by 10 cents. Maybe, maybe they should do maybe 3 cents or something like that. That was the take of a shopper at Foodland Farms in Ainahaina. While the Honolulu supermarket offers both plastic and paper, it rewards its customers who recycle and reuse bags. But lawmakers are being asked to approve charging an extra dime if shoppers opt not to bring their own reusable bags from home. Environmentalists say the bill was meant to curb the rise of paper bags. With the bans going into effect on Kauai and Maui, uh, paper bags have skyrocketed, and they actually have a higher uh, carbon footprint. So if the bill passes as is, where will your dime go? One penny of it for the first year would go back to the retailers, the cost of actually administering this program and for some of the educational outreach that they would do. Another portion of it would go to the Department of Health to actually run the program. Uh, and then a part of it would go to help fund the watershed initiative. Maui news photographer Matthew Thayer shot this before and after snapshot of the landfill. You have one picture where there's just plastic bags everywhere as far as the eye can see and six months later essentially all the plastic debris is gone. Uh, it was really a uh, stunning visual of how important these, these measures are. As lawmakers weigh the odds of this new bag fee, some say the added cost could be what it takes to change shoppers' habits. I don't, of course I don't like having to pay um, and I don't always remember my, my other bags and I have like a gazillion of them at home. Holly Matsuo, you are not alone. Now, here on Oahu, the plastic bill ban doesn't kick in until 2015. Back to you, Paula.